Oh, I'm so glad, Brother Dick. Where, where exactly have you been? Well, you know, I wish I could answer that question for you. My mind was very cloudy there for a while. But you see, I see everything clearly now. Well, good, 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 darling. Why don't we go into the dining room? We'll have cook prepare you something. You and I sit down and have a good chat for no, change. No, no, I don't want anything to eat. I just want you to tell me what's been going on while I've been gone. All right, okay. You give me a minute. I've got a messenger coming by. I've something I'm sending to the office, so I'll be right back. You know, Alex, I have some time now. If you'd like me, I can go over uh, these no. forms with you. The more you understand... Thank you. Alexandra? Yeah. You've already been more than gracious with your time. I'm sure that the doctor and the lawyer can explain everything I need to know. All right. Then I better get going. I'll see you and Alan at the hearing. Yes, you'll see us there. Were you talking to someone out there? Just the messenger. Oh, that's good. At least I'm not hearing voices anymore. <laughs> now, you sent the package to the office. Don't you think you should tell me what was in it? I mean, I need to get up to speed, especially about things with the company. <laughs> Come on, Alan. You, 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 you're fresh for five minutes. You want to jump right back into, into business? Yes, really absolutely. Well, like... oh, I think... Just stop for a minute. I think you should have something to eat, something put in your stomach. I don't want anything to eat in this house, Alexandra. Come on, a hunger strike isn't going to bring you back 100%. Yeah, but who knows? It may do wonders for my sanity. I think I'm going to have a drink. And I think I'm going to join you. What? What, do you really think you should on an empty stomach, I Alex? think it's a great idea. <laughs> You know, the figures from the annual report are on the desk, if you would care to take a look at them. And here I thought you were keeping everything spalding away from my prying eyes. By the way, I am aware that you've been taking out the business section in the morning paper. <laughs> well, all right, darling, maybe it's time you, you, you made a fresh start, okay? You know, I think that's a good idea. I will have a look. Mm. Where is the damn thing? Alan, if it's not on the desk, it's probably in the file cabinet. Then why didn't you tell me in the first place? Look, I've already gone over the figures. They look fine, Alan. Besides, it's not really important anymore. What is this place? I told you in the car, Alan, we were going to the hospital. Hospital? I'm not sick. Well, of course you're not. Now, I have to go find your room, Alan, and I have to speak to the doctor who's going to check you out. I don't like this place. Alan, it won't be much longer now, I promise you. Okay. You stay with him. He seemed a lot better this morning, didn't he? Apparently, it just comes and goes, all right? I'll be right back. All right, sir. How you doing? You, uh, you look a little tired. Actually, I'm thirsty. Oh, well, I, I could get you something. Scotch and soda? Uh, let's just make it a soda, huh? Not that you would notice any difference. Basic tests, blood work? No. There will be no blood work. That blood work has already been done. And I'm not going to have my, my, my brother poked and prodded with any more needles. Okay. No blood work. Thank you. Where's my brother? Well, I don't know. I, I looked. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Alan. Oh, Alan, where did you go? <coughs> Nowhere else to 
still the prowling. <laughs> hey, Alex. Rick. What's wrong with you? You look like you lost your best friend. My brother, he's disappeared. He's disappeared. Oh, that's great. Good timing. I was just about to, to tell you we're ready to take him for this MRI. Uh, listen, I got, I got some time. I can help you find him. Please. Yeah, no problem. Right. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Bauer. Uh, yeah. Hi, it's me. I'm uh, Scott Archer from the county clerk's office. Hi, Scott. If I could speak to you for a moment. Uh, listen, this is not a good time. Uh, Alex, you go ahead. I'll be right behind you, okay? Uh, excuse me, just a second. I am, uh, I'm so sorry about this. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I shouldn't have left them over that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check down the hall, all right? This was not supposed to be this complicated. Alan, if anything's happened to you, I will never forgive myself. I... You're supposed to be inside getting your chest. <laughs> I was about to call the police. Well, isn't that funny, Alex? I'm here talking with the police. Yes, so you are. You two having a nice chat? Oh, yeah, we're having a lovely chat. We were talking about fathers. Is that so? Yes. And it uh, sounds like he had a pretty good father, unlike our father. Yes, well, Brandon was one of a kind, wasn't he? <laughs> Thank goodness. Nolan, I found him. Nolan, will you please stay with Mr. Spaulding? No, you know what, Nolan, don't. Please go home. I'm going to stay with Mr. Spaulding. Well, actually, I have need? to speak with you for a moment. Excuse us. All right, sir. All right, what the hell do you think you are doing? You see the condition this man is in. You want to push him right over the edge. What is wrong with him? Is he on something? My brother will be fine if you keep what you know to yourself. You spread this whole mess, spill it, and you will throw him over the edge, Your I know. Your brother is acting like he just had a lobotomy. I can take care of my brother if you oh. stay out of the way. Is that what now. you think? Is that what you think? Yes, I do. I know it. Gus, nothing good can come from you telling Alan that you are his son. Not now. Not for Alan, not for you. The PET scan shows when uh, various diseases cause uh, particular parts of the brain to fire. It also highlights uh, drug receptors. Drug receptors? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean you can tell if Alan's taken some sort of drug that would alter his mental state or something? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's amazing information. Thank you for being so thorough. Oh, you, you're welcome, Alex. If there's anything else that you need, just let me know, OK? No, I think I have everything I, I need to know for now. OK. I'll talk to you later. Ready, Alan? Rick, this, uh, this won't hurt, will it? Oh, not at all. We're, we're just going to take a quick look at that vast billion-dollar brain of yours, and I'm sure once we start looking, we won't find anything at all. I'll be right back. Good. Alan, huh. you're going to be just fine. Just fine. Come oh, on, okay. darling. We're going to go into this room over here, and that's... Well, they're going to put you in this tube, you see, and that's where you're going to have the test. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to put me in a tube? Well, yes, they have to put you in the tube so make certain that you stay very still for the test. But Rick says it's not going to take that long, maybe 30, 45 minutes, that's all you well, That's a long to. time, Alex. I know you don't like being enclosed, darling. No, I don't like being enclosed. All right. Alan, maybe this is a good time for you to start working through that claustrophobia. You know, it's been a long time since Brandon locked you in that closet, Alan. It's time that you got over those fears, don't you think? Now, let's go on in. Can't be that bad. No, no. I won't let you do this, Alex. You're going to put me in that tube. Alan. Because if they put me in that tube, I won't be able to breathe. And I'm going to put me in there. Do you hear me? 